Hello friends, in this video we are talking about requirement types. Now before we talk about requirement types, let's look at what are these requirements is, is all about. Now Pinbock defines it as condition or a capability which, ex, which must exist in a product or service in order to meet the business needs. Now in a broad sense we can think of that we have a business needs opportunities, problems, and in order to exploit them or in order to make them reality, we need some conditions capability exist in our product and service. Now this get communicated via requirements. So requirements communicates them to the solution team so they come up with, with a product or a service. Now these requirements can be categorized in various types because it's a very broad term and the categorization helps us in, in visualizing them and visualizing the hierarchy of, of the requirement. And on the top of the hierarchy, we have a business requirement. Now business requirements are business needs. They are problems, they could be opportunities. They may be coming from an external environment, they may be coming from your internal process improvement initiatives. So for example, let's take an example of a business need. I want to reduce a cycle time by 50% in order to sustain in the market. If I don't do it, my competitor will make me irrelevant because they are delivering faster than me. So this is my business requirement that going forward, my goods should get delivered in 50% of the current time. In order to meet this particular business requirement, I go to the stakeholders. So with this particular need as a business analyst, I may start meeting the delivery head, the packaging head, the distribution guy, the purchasing guy. And I talk about like, we have a problem. We won't be surviving if we don't reduce our cycle time by 50%. Now, when you meet these stakeholders, they come up with their own requirements. We can do it. If your system can provide me this information, we can do it if we have this process in place. We can do it if we start procuring from a different vendor than this particular vendor. So these all are stakeholder requirements. So stakeholders are coming up with their area of requirement in order to meet the business requirement or a business need. Now these requirements get finally, like you may think of various solutions which can meet these stakeholder needs and you compile them as a set of features or a set of functional requirements which must exist in the 2B system or in the proposed system. And these are solution requirements. The solution which you are giving to fix this business need, it should have some functional features which will help you to meet this particular goal. Now these requirements are defined as a functional requirements. So if you extend the same example, as a CEO, I may want to have an alert if my one order get delayed by three days. So I have a feature which gives me an alert if one particular shipment get delayed by more than three days. So it's a feature. How this feature will help me? It will help me to control the cycle time. But it's a very small feature. This feature alone will not solve all the puzzles, but this is giving a characteristic for the to be solution. Now, in order to make this feature running reliably, securely, consistently, you may need to have a basic infrastructure and that also may need to be defined so that the solution team will develop that. And such kind of things are communicated in non-functional requirement. Example, at a one particular point of time, there could be 100 phones who are connected with this particular notification system and they all should work without any problem. So non-functional requirement. So you can have a concurrent 100 uh, phone connected for that particular uh, 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 instance. Now finally, the final category which we are discussing here is a transition requirement. Now you might be working in a one particular way. As of now, you, you do have a system in place, but you want to reduce your cycle time. Now when you design the future system, there has to be a process, change management process, which will take you from here to the next system. Now there will be some specific transition requirement, could be training, could be data migration, could be new documentation, which you need to perform only for that duration, which will help you to have, have this transition done smoothly. So such kind of requirements are defined in transition requirements. Now as far as exam is concerned, it's a very important topic. You should not only be knowing the definition of these requirement types, you should be able to identify them as you see them with the description, 
and you may expect some kind of questions where you see a requirement defined and you need to judge it which type of requirement it is. So if you summarize it, it is like I am starting with my business problem that I want to reduce my cycle time. I am meeting people asking them what can we do to do this? What are your requirements which can make this happen? Stakeholder requirements. I figure them out, I consolidate them, I remove the redundancy, I make them consistent and come up with a solution and define its functional requirement. Like I need to have a dashboard which can give me a report of a weekly delays. I can have an alerts which alerts it as something gets stuck. We need to reduce few steps in our distribution process. These all comes into the functional requirement. Then non-functional requirement which makes sure that system keeps running. I have 100 employees. So if 100 employees are using it 24-7, they should not be waiting for more than three minutes for any transaction. So these are non-functional requirement. Transition, when I'm moving from here to there, all my previous data should get migrated. I should get all my vendor data. My team should get trained on a new system before I move to the next one. So this is how we can visualize requirements and requirement types. If you have any follow-up queries, always come to our forum. We would be happy to assist you. Thank you.